this might be it. We might be going three, two, one. Here we go. So let's see. Raket is gonna get the first low. Let's see anybody tricks or anything? No, he should be getting this uh, this quad. He didn't manage to kill Gore though, which who picked up the high. So he didn't get to kill the high RL. It almost looked like he was about to. But the high RL survived, so Gore is still alive. He's in red mega. Raket, of course, securing this next low. BPS is coming for it, looks like. BPS or Shaka. Okay, BPS is gonna get it. Ooh, we might get attacked here, though. OK98 got the high, so... That's a quick uh, triple uh, rocket launcher for Team Sweden. Pretty good start for Sweden here. BPS, like I said, did get attacked and killed. He also dropped the pack, I believe. Oh, but that's another pack. Oh, but Dog picked it up. Rakete is down to 1 HP. He's not going to drop a pack, though, so he's fine. So suddenly, OK98, the only rocket launcher on Team Sweden. BPS is, of course, going to give over that quad to OK98. See if he can do anything. He only has two rockets, though, so... And, well, make that one rocket, so he has to make this last one count. Just eat a little bit of spam. Oh, misses that as well. But, yeah, no more rockets for OK98. He's going to have to just... Uh... Oh, he's going to try anyways. Just with a boomstick. Maybe get the kill. No, he's not going to be able to kill that rocket launcher. It just spawned. I was just gonna keep Tully safe. Normal uh, DM, uh, DM2 uh, strategy here. But the Russians have. Oh no, he got Tully fragged! He oh, with a rocket launcher. Team Sweden is down to zero rocket launchers against three. And he got. He, <laughs> he returned the favor by uh, Tully fragging Sep somehow. So he also went down. Uh, BPS steals the quad. Somehow, uh, the the Russians didn't manage to get to quad, even though they had four rocket launchers. BPS is eventually going to go down, though. Dot is doing everything he can to stay alive here, but he's also going to go down. So that's another rocket launcher gone. Gore is keeping high safe here, letting letting his team know that there is a low. Uh, I mean, the uh, high to get, but that's going to be two packs, or well, one rocket launcher and one. And somehow Sep got telefragged again by OK98. A lot of chaos right now in the beginning of this game. Of course, the frags don't matter too much at the this chaotic start. Uh, Russia is up eight frags, but it doesn't mean too much. Here comes a big fight between Glad and Rakiet. Oh, Rakiet is getting flooded by Sep. Good, good teamwork by the Russians. PBS is also gonna die. Nice play from Glad. Nice rockets. But OK98 is just waiting for the quad. The Russians once again forgetting about the quad. No pack, unfortunately, for uh, OK98. But OK, uh, Rakit is going to bore. Make that a rocket launcher for OK98. And he almost bores himself. He was trying to kill the guy in, uh, in secret. Shaka squishing his teammate. That's not what you want to do. And oh my god, Gore actually wins that fight against OK98. So here we get to see Dot a little bit. Three rocket launchers to one. Well, three ro rocket launchers to two. This should make it four rocket launchers. No, never mind. They didn't save that for Gore. So three rocket launchers to two. But the quads, the Russians need the, need the quads to... Uh, e even though they're in the lead, uh, they still need the quads. It's coming up in five seconds. Rakiet is there, he's ready, he's gonna pick it up. So another quad for the Swedes. Let's see if he can win this fight. And that's a pack, so that's a free rocket launcher for his teammates. And now the Swedes are at four rocket launchers against three. And here we go, that's another pack. Rakiet is gonna pick it up immediately. Oh my god, the carnage. Rakiet is just killing everything here. And suddenly he's the only, uh, I, I think he'll delete just as many rocket launchers on the enemy team as he did his own team. 
After all that, three rocket launchers went down for both teams, so that's interesting. Looking at the scoreboards quickly here. I can't in the lead. Uh, for Team Sweden and the uh, Dogs for Team Russia. But quad is coming up once again and uh, lo lots of quads for the Swedes here. Here comes the attack. Raket is gonna win that fight. Gives, uh, ooh, provides a pack for a teammate, but he's very low here, so he needs an armor. He's actually gonna go through and uh, grab a yellow in big instead. Perfectly fine. And here comes the low attack. First kill done. Nice. Oh, I was about to say nice play from Rakiat, but then he stepped on his own grenade. Oh, and that's a beautiful team shot by uh, OK98, killing his teammate <laughs> from like a mile away. Getting a couple of um, a couple of kills though. So that was so close that Gore stole that red armor. All right, we're tied at 45, and we're tied at a number of rocket launchers on each team as well. But the quads keep going to the Swedes. <laughs> Again, with another uh, grenade suicide. OK98 is delaying this quad, saving it for Shaka. OK, OK98 is like, I, I don't want this quad. Someone else take it. Oh my god, and Shaka does the exact same thing as OK98 did. How does that happen twice within a couple of seconds? And that's gonna be the death of him, so... Wow. Both OK98 and Shakya did the exact same thing. Seems really hard to uh, hit that secret for some reason. But the Swedes are back up to uh, three rocket launchers anyways. But we do get to see Dot. And the quad is up in 20 seconds now. The here comes the attack that they need. That's one kill. Two kills. Three. Now let's see if Dot can make it to the quad. Or if he's going to lose this fight against BPS. Okay, BPS is going to win the fight eventually. And this looks like a BPS quad. Let's see what he can do with the quad. If he can find any enemies to kill. That's an easy frag, of course. They only have one rocket launcher in the back room here. Red Mega. Well, he did slip. BBS trying to make an attack for it, but with three enemies out there, he's gonna play it safe. Alright, so a little bit conservative play from BPS. He does have timing on this Mega, by the way. So he could get a perfect timing here with a big, big stack for this next squad. He's not going to give this quad away unless uh, the Russians make a nice attack here. Vlad is on his way. He's going to eat two rockets, though. He's not really in shape to win this fight. Ooh, BPS trying his best to find a good rocket on him. And it finally, he goes down. He's gonna pick up the pack because there's no reason to uh <laughs> it would have been really cool if he brought out the axe and tried to get a spawn frag with the axe that would have been really cool <laughs> just smelling that spawn coming Ooh, it's a couple of rockets though but uh, he's in good shape here Sweden has taken the lead pretty convincingly here they do have four rocket launchers as well Oh, but this is a good attack by Dot. BPS is in trouble, needs to run away. Probably asking for help here. He does survive though. And of course, he still has timing on this high mega. Oh, it's a very dangerous mega to go for, and BPS is gonna go down. Sep is gonna rocket jump up from the looks of it. OK98 has one rocket. He's ready for this. Quad is gonna pick up the quad, but he's gonna try to save this rocket for any enemy rocket that he can find. If he finds an enemy rocket launcher, he's gonna try to hit that one shot. Oh, and there you go. He uses it. Doesn't get a kill. <laughs> Just barely. Doesn't fall down into the lava. Oh, hardest jumping quake. Sorry, Gore. 
And OK-98 without any rockets. There's not much he can do here. I don't even know. Oh, he's also going to die to the uh, hardest jumping quake. Falls down into the lava. Hey, Offy, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Alright, BPS once again ready for this quad. Oh, that mid-air uh, mid grenade just stopping that rocket jump. Perfectly timed by BPS. Yeah, it looks like BPS, he has such uh, quad experience. Looks like he knows exactly what to do with every single quad. At least so far he hasn't bored in the, in the secret area or whatever that uh, both Shaka and OK98 almost managed to do. So he's playing this super safe, still four rocket launchers on Team Sweden. Oh, that's a beautiful play actually. That grenade was just waiting for, uh, for Sep. Didn't do much about that one. So debating who's gonna get the next quad. Rakib does have a mega, so he's a slightly bigger stack. Let's see what he can do. He's been playing very aggressively lately, which I kinda like. He's gonna go attack Gore here. Well, I mean Dot, sorry. Eating spam from all sides, but that's your teammate, so don't kill him. Now he's gonna go on the hunt once again. Nice play by the Swedes here. Not entirely locking the map down. Don't have anyone in like back uh, back room or anything, but they're they're controlling the uh, water area and the important things, getting every single quad pretty much. Waiting for those uh, rockets. OK98 is gonna pick up the quad and die immediately. That's one rocket launcher gone. BPS is very low as well. So maybe an opening here for uh, Team Russia. Oh, good teamwork, but they're both gonna go down. Two packs in big. With this control over water and uh oh that's unlucky <laughs> doesn't manage to kill the secret guy but with this control over water area and telly they can always resupply on the high high rocket launcher which is what sweden is doing so they're almost always at uh at four rocket launchers as you can see okay 98 went down but he's just gonna pick up the telly and wait for the next high probably BPS is probably gonna get this uh, quad and let's see what he can do. Ooh, he's a very good first rocket by the enemy team and he's gonna have to back off here. Oh, and Sep slipping very nicely to trap that quad and kill BPS. So not much getting done there by BPS, but still we're not seeing any quads uh, by the Russian team. <laughs> Such a chaotic game here. Oh, I know, okay, now Dave is probably gonna lose this fight, so make that only one rocket launcher for Team uh, Sweden. Shaka is gonna pick up the high once again, does, as it's always there for them. Rakiet is getting flooded, and he is also gonna go down, so Shaka and Glad being the only two rocket launchers. Will this be the first quad for Team Russia? First or second, I don't remember. No, OK98 is coming, gonna come in and steal it. Also kills Glad, so that's the last rocket launcher gone for Team uh, Russia. OK98 is gonna pick up the high rocket launcher, try to get some HP and some armor. 
Oh no, he's gonna slip through and die to a boomstick. But they still have two rocket launchers on Shaka and BPS. And yeah, the lead is uh, extending at this point. The Russians really need the quads. They've had the rocket launchers for it, but uh, no positioning or very well timed attacks. And even when Glad was there and so ready for that quad, uh, OK98 somehow managed to get in there and steal it. Shaka on some uh, tally duty here, making sure to keep tally safe. And OK98 is gonna pick up the quad. He doesn't have a rocket launcher though. He's probably just gonna wait here for the high. There you go. Boom. And we're back to four rocket launchers for Team Sweden. Now this is looking more like a proper map lock. Our BPS did go down. Or no, he didn't. Actually, yes he did, but he did get his own pack, I think. Shaka did go down, however, but they do have Raket in the back room. So this is where you see a lot of frags going down for Team Sweden. A proper map lock. Telly is safe, Red Mega is safe, Quad is safe, Water is safe, everything is safe at this point. Okay, 98, picking up the Quad. And yeah, look at the frags now, it's just uh, getting out of hand. So this is what a map lock looks like, guys. And yeah, I don't I don't know what else to say. They're gonna swap. Uh, no, Raket is coming back. But uh, yeah, look at the kill feed on the right. BPS finally is gonna go down, which means they lost somewhere. Oh, and OK98 is gonna die here too. So that's uh, two rocket launchers gone. BPS immediately got a new rocket launcher though, and Raket is gonna pick up this. Quad and the quads have been the story of the game, and of course the uh, control over the uh, the the water area and Tully. And what I mean by that is that this area, so high water and Tully, has never been controlled by the Russians a single time this game. All right, so we're waiting for the last two quads, but this game is pretty much over. Let's look at the uh, frags here. Rakiet leading the way along with BPS. Pretty even frags here. That's usually what happens if you get a map lock. It's uh, usually pretty e even. <laughs> nice little jump by Shaka to try to avoid a little bit of that uh, damage from that um, grenade that was waiting for him. But BPS is going to pick up the quad. Try to spam a couple of rockets here. See if he can hit any unsuspecting Russian. And no, he gets one. Gets two. Oof. Funny how the uh, Russians survived that attack from BPS. They were both still at red mega and moved low afterwards. Nice job by the Russians. But it's a little bit too little too late here. Quad coming up in 8 seconds. Which is going to be our last quad. And it's not going to be a Russian quad that either. I wonder, did they have a single quad? I'm gonna check the stats after the uh, after the game. Mm. 
But we did see two pretty funny uh, uh, quad runs from OK98 and uh, Shaka. Apparently this shot is hard to hit with when you have the quad. But here we go. L uh, last score is going to be 231 to 92. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, this, this is some rough, rough stats to look at. Quads 20 to zero. That's not what you want if you're Russian, but now we go on to the Russians map pick, which is going to be E1M2. And are we seeing a switch of players here? Yeah, they're going to bring in Tumult. Over Shaka for this map. Uh, Xantom still crook. Um, well, I think he's feeling better. The, the thing is that he's got a lot of things at work right now. So he has to take a little time off. So he's going to miss a couple of games. But he'll be back at some point. Alright, so we're gonna set C to Molt instead of Shotgun for E1M2. Let's see if the uh, Russians can keep this a little bit closer uh, on their map pick. Thank you everyone for uh, tuning in for this game. Please stick around by the way because right after this we're gonna have the Dual Mania winner bracket final between BPS and Locust. And we all know their legendary uh, rivalry, especially on Arrowwalk. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be a best of five as well. No map repetitions, which means that we're going to see all five maps. And that's going to be a good run. That's going to be real fun. Oh, well, we might get to see all five maps. Unless someone wins three to nothing, of course. But here we go. Okay, we almost go. All oh, right. Uh, of course, a Sweden can choose to uh, not have team overlay on, since uh, this is the Russians' map pick. Did they fix that. All right. So here we go. Ooh, no one got the rocket spawn. By the way, the rocket is still up. Okay, there we go. So dot dot finally got it so it's delayed by maybe eight seconds or so that's an interesting thing on e1m2 um there's i think 10 spawns so sometimes nobody spawns the uh, the uh, the rocket launcher which can delay it a little bit and uh put things in well confuse you a little bit if you don't hear anyone pick that up Second rocket launcher did go to OK98. Dot being careful here. Does not want to die. So on E1M2, uh, surviving is everything. It's way different, way less chaotic than uh, DM2, for example. If you get a ro if you get yourself a rocket launcher like Dot has here, you really don't want to die. You want to do anything you can to stay alive. Which is exactly what he's doing. I would say he should go for these rockets now. The rockets are up. We don't have any rockets, mate. Alright, he's gonna prioritize this yellow. But he definitely... Oh, we should have killed his teammate there, I think. But he's gonna get the rockets eventually anyways. Oh, he's gonna get... Oh he's eventually gonna go down that makes two rocket launchers for team sweden and one rocket launcher for uh, no make that zero mega is gonna be up in 10 seconds raket cannot wait here and get the quad so he's gonna have to make a decision here 
Sometimes on this map though, it's worth uh, not going for the quad if you can survive. BPS is already there waiting for it anyway, so BPS is gonna pick it up. Which means that uh, Raket should be getting that mega. Yep, did indeed. But BPS is gonna go down eventually. Board, nice, trying to uh, get a backstab on OK, onto OK98, but unfortunately leaves a pack. So OK98, be careful not to drown here. and. If he can make it up with this um, rocket launcher, Gore is not going to be happy about himself. So far, so good. Nah, he's gonna eventually going to go down. So, good job by the Russians to kill that rocket launcher that was dropped. But even though uh, we've been seeing uh, Swedish quads and Swedish uh, players pretty much all the time on this auto track. The Russians are in the lead, so... Oof. Okay, so that's a pack. Glad pro... Yeah, he had to pick it up. Eventually, the quad goes down. It's really hard to survive with the quad, of course, unless you have a full stack. Dot is looking strong here. He has a full yellow. He's made his way to Mega. If he stays there, he could get a 150, 200, but didn't have timing on the Mega. And they really want to keep yellow safe if they can. Ah, that's a bad fight for for him, unfortunately. But don't despair, they're still in the lead. Motherland, Russia, Razia. First rocket, he's gonna kill a teammate. He's gonna win this fight though. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. Oh my god. I've never actually seen that. That was so cool. <laughs> that kid looked so confused where his enemy went. Where did he go? And then he dropped the pack there. That looked hilarious. <laughs> but BPS with a rocket launcher here over at yellow. Only four rockets though, so he has, has to be. To save them a little bit, but the rockets are up, so he's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna go for the yellow here. Just make sure to survive. <laughs> oh, that looks so funny. I hope someone clipped that, by the way. When someone survives, the quad rocket just flies up, and Araket had no idea where he went. It looks so hilarious. Oh no, that's a pack dropped by, uh, was it Dot, I think? Oh, that's all. No, that was not a pack drop. That was a perfect grenade, actually, from uh, Sep. That kid is gonna drop a pack, but Glad is gonna pick it up. I don't know if he knew that it was a pack, and he's getting so flooded here. Is he gonna be able to survive the. Yeah, he is. Actually, he does a great job surviving. Still has 133 HP left. A good job by Glad. Picks up some more rockets. Yeah, he's done a great job here surviving actually. And they're up about 20 frags, so uh, the Russians are doing a good job. Yeah, uh, that E1M2 health stealers. I think it was Shaka stealing some health there. That's never uh, fun. That's very tilting. No K98 stealing the quad somehow. There were like three people in that box, but uh, the quad ended up in OK98's hands. Of course, he only has a boomstick and a grenade launcher. Can't do too much with that. The rocket just went as well, so. Yeah. Oh no, but that's a, almost a free. Oh my god! He gets two rocket kills there, and both of them dropped a pack, so eventually OK98 does end up with a rocket launcher anyways. So he's fine, now he just needs some armor. This 
dinosaurs are getting a little bit closer. He does have time to get for, go, go for the squad if he wants to. See if he's going to go straight to it. Yeah, he is. And he's going to get the quad as well. This is probably going to be the first quad that really survives. Nice job by OK98. Oh, he heard someone at start. That could have been the, uh, the rocket launcher. He's looking for him. <gasps> oh my god, what? What was that? Dot just hit two grenades to, straight to the face of OK98 and then finished him off with... Uh, with a boomstick. That was a beautiful kill on OK98. The double nade and then the boomstick. That's so what so nice. What a what a frag. That's gonna leave uh Sweden without a single rocket launcher. And Dot is gonna get this quad and he is pretty healthy as well. This is looking good for the Russians, I gotta say. Did I say Shaka before, by the way, about the health steal? He's not even on on the team for this game, so... Sorry, Shaka. <laughs> Dolt's playing it really safe here. Making sure that yellow is... Is theirs? BPS with the only the only rocket launcher. He does have a mega though. He's waiting for the green. Waiting for someone to maybe slip from uh, yellow. The quad is coming up and I don't think that uh, BPS has any way of getting there. He is actually going to try. It looked like he was at uh, crossing but... He's back at Mega, but OK98 once again managed to steal the quad. He's gonna go down and now we get to see BPS for a little bit. The only rocket launcher on the entire map. Oh, it's another grenade. I'm glad it's getting two grenade frags. What is it with these uh, Russian grenades, by the way? They're so insane. BPS is in trouble here. He really wants this green armor. He had timed it from earlier. He probably has timing on the mega as well since he also had that. He's gonna go for the yellow instead and try to get that. Yeah, he's all, he is gonna get that. Not sure if he's gonna go for the mega now. Probably just safe around here. He needs rockets as well. He only has one. But he does have a buckshot, so a quad with a buckshot is of course perfectly fine, but he's against- Oh, he does get the kill on the rocket launcher with that buckshot, and now he's just in survival mode, but there are three Russian players. So BPS is gonna go down, but OK98 has got a rocket launcher, keeping everything safe here. Let's see the spread of frags. We're pr still pretty close, only within 18 frags, so... This could go either way. <laughs> A little cuddle fest here. Cuddle party. But Russia is still in the lead. Smart play by OK98 to check the box there. Sometimes it's very easy to forget, but oh, as long as it doesn't drop a pack. And Dot is gonna pick up the quad. He's gonna go down, but he did get two kills first. That's a pack over at Mega. Who is gonna get it? Looks like OK98 got it. Let's see if those uh, Russian grenades stay true against BPS. Not thus far. Ah, there you go. But that was on Tumult though, but still. Trying to hit those grenades. <laughs> now he's out of ammo, so he's gonna go down. No rocket launchers on the map whatsoever. 
very common on uh, E1M2, of course. 19 frags apart, 8 minutes to go. That 20. Oh my god, he Gore is just spamming grenades. And... OK98 once again is gonna steal a quad. He does go down to those grenades, those Russian grenades. But it's another quad steal. Rakete is going to pick up the rocket launcher, being the only rocket launcher on the map currently. Let's see how long he can survive with it. He's already given away the fact that he has one. Mange is about to spawn though. That's good news for Rakete. He's going to make an attack for yellow here. Try to take it over. He gets one kill, two kills. Here comes the grenades once again. Oh, and the grenades are going to kill him. So that's a rocket, free rocket for Glad. What is it with these Russian grenades? They seem to connect every single time. Russian grenades for the win, guys. Oh my goodness. And Glad still with that rocket launcher. It's two rocket launchers now for Team Russia. Extending their lead a little bit. The quad's still going mostly to the Swedes, but... Okay, just gonna pick up the uh, rocket launcher, but give it away to OK98. See if OK98 can find anyone. That's one. Is he gonna win the fight though? Yes, he is. He's also gonna manage to give the pack to a friend. That's a good play. UPS did go down though, so he's gonna die. Another one! And OK98 once again drops a pack to the, a grenade from the Russian team. What is it with these... These, uh... These grenades, man. Anyways, Gore has a rocket launcher. And it's gonna set up a uh, camp here for this squad. He's very low, though. He's gonna have to back off. Doesn't have any rockets. He's getting flooded. And Dot is gonna pick up the quad, but he only has 8 HP and no health or armor or anything. Or weapons. So he's gonna go down. But two rocket launchers on Team Russia. They're doing a really good job here. They've extended their lead to a little bit more than 30 frags. We might see a DM3 decider here. And I gotta say, Abraxas, you're getting very close to being correct pretty much 100% of the time on this stream with your predictions. Heat seeking grenades, yeah. Crazy. But yeah, the, the lead has been extended even more now. Almost 40 frags. Oh, Sep. Yeah, he's gonna rocket jump up. Another quad steal from uh, Team Sweden. That's a couple of uh, packs, by the way, so that's our rocket launcher for, for BPS. Oh my god. So many kills. Waiting for this yellow. Can't do much. Much else though. The rockets are up. Just gonna pick them up. This, uh, okay, it's actually saving the yellow. Okay, good, good team play. Saving it for a cat. All right, so the frag lead is actually getting smaller. Oh, BPS is so close to going down. 16 HP. That's one boomstick away. He is gonna make it to yellow though. Just barely surviving. 3 minutes 30 seconds If the Russians play this smart now, they should have it in the bag, but This could get very 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 close Frag lead is still getting smaller. Dot does have a rocket launcher over there by the way I don't think BPS is aware 
that he's firing at a rocket launcher. Oh god, yeah, this could be really close. They have found themselves two rocket launchers now. So it's two rocket launchers versus two. But the quad could decide it all here. VPS with another quad run. Almost killing his teammate. Just barely missed him. Ooh. Trying to hit this shot. And he, he finally does. It wasn't a rocket launcher though, but still. This is a rocket launcher, however. So that's one gone. Getting a couple frags and we're actually within nine frags now. Oh, almost. Uh, 20. 10. I, I can't count right now. Sorry. Two minutes remaining. And BPS is going to go down. He's also going to leave a pack. Oh, no. That's bad news for Team Sweden. Now two rocket launchers against one. One rocket launcher is going to go down. So we're going to have one rocket launcher against one rocket launcher. Ooh, Gore playing... Uh very very care uh, well uh, the opposite of careful whatever that is in the, the English language All right, Gore being the only rocket launcher on the map right now we're in 15 frags 16 frags one and a half minute nice calm play by Gore but he's gonna get attacked by Rakiet Rakiet does have a rocket launcher Mega is not close to spawning, so he's gonna look for frags. He's gonna try to find some. Finds one. 14 frags now. 14 frags. Oh, Rakiet is in trouble here. Oh, is he gonna win the boomstick fight? Yeah, he's actually gonna finish it off with a rocket. Down to 20 HP. He needs to find some health. Oh, and he almost gets the mega. That could have been the deciding mega. No rocket launchers on the map now. It's all a boomstick fight at this point. Uh, with a couple couple with a bit of grenades and some uh, super nail guns. OK98 picks up the... No, he's going to die to his teammate. 10 frags apart, 35 seconds. This is going to be a very, very, very close ending. But yeah, as you can see, the Russians are just hiding at this point. They have to hide. No frags are going on. All the Russians are hiding. This is... What a close game. But yeah, they're just hiding, making sure not to die. Nine frags apart, 10 seconds. Yeah, now they can just slow spawn. This is gonna go to Russia. We're gonna get a DM3 decider. Wow, that mega was so close for Rakiet. If he had gotten that, that could have been the difference. And here we go. Nine frags apart, 230 to 221. Uh, 14 to six in quad pickups. BBS had a great game there, by the way. 72 frags. Wow. All right. So we're going to have a DM3 decider. Whew. All right, so now they're gonna do a slash random to see if we are using uh, team overlay or not. I I'm not sure whether uh, Rus the Russians even want that, so I don't know, but yeah. Whew. In case you missed it, I hope that's the clip of Rakiet when he uh, fired someone in the mega room up to the very top that looked hilarious it, it looked like it just disappeared okay so team overlay off apparently so everybody agrees with that it looks like
All right. Looks like they're gonna swap to Molt, maybe back to Shaka. We'll see. Or if they're gonna use somebody else. Team 3 Decider. <laughs> yeah, we had an imposter for, for a few seconds, but Shaka is back onto the server. Okay, so Tumult out, Shaka in. Team Russia stays with the same team. But yeah, what a what a what a game on uh, E1M2. So close. Oh, let's tap out a quick second while uh Well, we wait for everyone to get ready. <laughs> but yeah, you know, someone mentioned, by the way, Interesting to not have uh, Billy the Kid on any of the any of the games. That's a little bit interesting. He's a really good player, so. Yeah, DM3. Just waiting for Glad to ready up and then we go. So this is gonna be the deciding map. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Tumult says that he had to... Uh, Adjust his uh, boomstick. <laughs> the only weapon he got to use. Yeah, feels like that very often on uh, E1M2. But here we go. Deciding map. Three, two, one. Do, do we get a full start anywhere? We got a dot getting the first. Actually, we're gonna split it a little bit. But both Pent and Rocket Launcher went to. Um, and Lightning Gun went to Russia, so this is a better start for Team Russia. This should mean that they get the second uh, rocket launcher as well. Gore, of course, just waiting here for the second rocket launcher. The first ro rocket launcher is still alive over at Yellow. Slash bri bridge. We heard OK98 trying to kill someone here. But not the rocket launcher. All right, so definitely a better spawn for Team Russia. Two rocket launchers. Oh, nice attack there from Rakiet Gore down to only 8 HP. He's not going to be able to go for this quad. But Dodd is. And Dodd is going to pick it up. Team Sweden without any uh, weapons whatsoever. Russia has got two rocket launchers and one lightning gun. And also control over the red armor, which of course is so important. DPS trying to sneak in. Alright, Rakiet, actually I can see in the lower right corner of my screen that Rakiet did survive with a uh, rocket launcher. 
And he's got a, a yellow as well, so maybe with some help from his teammates, they could make a move on the next squad. And here's a nice lightning gun attack by OK98. Dot down to only 12 HP. If only they realize BBS is finally gonna get him down. Gore is gonna go for the squad, but there's a lot of uh, Swedish players there as well. Shaka is there. Let's see who picks up the quad. Raket is gonna get it. He does have uh, a rocket launcher and he's gonna go balls deep. And there, there's the damn grenades from uh, from the uh, the Russian. The Russian grenades are amazing. And Glad is gonna steal the rocket launcher. He does have a lightning gun as well. Raket is in trouble here, but he's gonna finally get the kill anyways. So, two rocket launchers for team. Oh no, but then he's gonna go down to uh, Gore with, when he had the quad. What? Okay. So, one rocket launcher each. Uh, OK98 does have a lightning gun as well, but no rockets anymore. He's gonna pick a couple up here. So, that's five more rockets. Find an easy kill there as well. OK98 looking really strong for the next quad, actually. Of course, having. Uh, a lightning gun is extremely huge for for the quad. So he's getting ready. Quad is up in two seconds. Here we go. Let's see where he goes with this. If he can find any weapons. Glad is out at pens with the last weapon. He's at lifts. Doesn't look like OK98 is going to find him. Unless he runs into him now. At SNG, but he's gonna go to red instead, make sure that red is safe. Oof. So Glad has found himself two megas. But no armor. And he eventually actually went down as well to OK98. It's a nice play by OK. Some would say that he was only okay in 1998. But he's apparently okay nowadays as well in 2020. He's gonna pick up the quad again. Oh, that's a rocket pack that he can save to a teammate. There you go, BPS picks it up. Red armor is still some time off, but... Uh... The entire Russian team is in water, by the way. I could see that in the lower right corner. Everyone was in water. OK98 was being a little bit careful, though, because there could have been a lightning gun in there. And uh, you don't really want to get uh, killed by that. But here we go. Pent is coming up. Sweden is so ready for it. Uh, Glad is going to pick up the, uh, the ring. BPS gets the pent. Oh, but it's gonna just barely gonna miss the quad. So the quad goes to uh, the ring. But ring and quad are both dead. And the entire Russian team is pretty much dead. Sep does have a rocket launcher over at yellow. <laughs> BPS trying to be sneaky. Oh, they still couldn't find Sep. That's the only one they couldn't find. Shaka picking up the, uh, <laughs> you could see that, uh, you know, angry look by VPS when he heard that someone picked up the, uh, uh, the red armor. He wanted that, I'm, I'm telling you. But he's gonna get this one and he has plenty of time to make it for the quad if he wants to as well. Well, he definitely wants to help out with the quad, regardless, but... He's also gonna get it as well. Picks it up. That's an interesting Q2 uh, auto track feature that we suddenly got to see OK98 okay, for, for a second. For no reason whatsoever. Maybe that area is considered close to. Oh, what a beautiful rocket. And that's also a pack. Wow. Three rocket launchers for Team Sweden. Be careful for that discharge. You don't want to get discharged. Alright, 
And how's this looking? Okay, 98 still in the frag lead. A pretty good control there from Team Sweden. Quad is coming up. Gore is trying to make a move for it here. But BPS is gonna pick it up once again. Four weapons now on Team Sweden. One lightning gun, three rocket launchers. There is one Russian rocket launcher at SNG. I'm not sure if BPS is aware of that. Smart play by BPS. Gonna drop down and get the lightning gun for himself. Also surviving here. Ooh, this is a very dangerous play though. He's down to 12 HP. He definitely needs this red. And some health. He's just gonna hide here, it looks like. Does not want to get hit by a boomstick. I eventually it does go down in red. Didn't drop a pack though. And he immediately dropped down, by the way, I saw in the lower right corner that he immediately got a lightning gun. But he died immediately, yeah. Nice play on this map from OK98 so far, and the Swedes have taken a formidable lead here. And 10 to 43. I think we can just uh, pretty much say that whenever I ask for predictions uh, from the chat, whatever Abraxas says, we can just write that into the wiki and then we don't even have to watch the games. Oh, nice steal by Dot. He's gonna just run in there. And pick up the quad. Beautiful play. Pushing them, uh, the enemy away with the lightning gun. Great steal by Dot. Finally getting some... Um, some quad action. And a couple of uh, uh, enemy uh, weapon kills. is waiting for someone to jump over fortunately that was just a boomstick he's out of cells now so he can't do very much with this lightning gun or do anything for the pent that is coming up now third pent here we go glad is there bbs is there bbs is gonna get it he's probably gonna no he's not gonna rocket jump up for the quad uh ok98 gets the quad instead that's fine I guess the ring died. I didn't manage to see who picked it up. Oh, beautiful rocket jumps by BPS. That looks so nice when you do that. Oh, but BPS is gonna drop a pack later. But I wonder if that pack just got telefried. I'm not sure. Or maybe Dot's got it. Yeah, great ambush on, on BPS anyways. But they need some... Um, the Russians need some control now. They need to get back into this game. Kill some weapons and get control over the red. And start running the quads. It's their only chance at this point. Sep is gonna get the quad, it doesn't have any weapons or armor though, so the amount of things that he can do with this is very limited. And Sweden actually has three weapons of their own. The only one looking really strong is Dot actually. Sep is gonna pick up the, uh, the lightning gun and Dot getting a couple of frags with that uh, rocket launcher, so that's nice to see. But eventually it's gonna go down to BPS on the other side of the map. So make that zero rocket launchers for Team Russia. The 
Seth is chilling here with five cells only. Yeah, he's gonna give that uh, yellow to the rocket launcher of Gore. And try to help out over at this squad. Only five cells though. Not gonna be able to do much with that. BPS is very, very low here. 11 HP. He's gonna pick up the quad though. He hears so many people over at Lyft. Mega some cells. This is perfect. Uh, this is how you want it to be when you uh, when you have a quad. Oh, nice concept there. That's a rocket launcher. Gonna jump up just to get some uh, some ammo. I think he was hoping for cells, but there, was, there were none in that. Right, picks up the yellow, but yeah, time is running out for the Russians. No. Russians actually have more weapons. Okay, so never mind that. Now they're equal on weapons. But BPS with another quad run. I love how BPS moves around the map. Always showboating a little bit for the stream, maybe. But oh, he's just when I say that, he's gonna get. Um, He's gonna get discharged. So that's a nice, nice discharge on the on the quad. It's a very very effective way to get rid of the quad. That is the uh, commentator uh, curse, the caster curse. Whenever you praise someone, that's always gonna happen. Either they get like telefragged or they, for whatever reason. Die. Alright, so we have one more quad and then we have the last pent. Here comes the grenades. Ooh, just barely dodges the grenades. Okay, 98 for the quad. Getting the red armor. <laughs> Trying to hunt down this uh, rocket, manages to do so, and now gonna start preparing for this uh, this pent coming up in a couple of seconds. See if he gets any uh, support. They do have four weapons. That is way too early. Jump by Glad. Looks like OK98 okay, is gonna get it. See if he gets the ring. Maybe tied it immediately once again. Okay, so he's gonna leave the quad actually. Maybe give it to BPS instead. BPS getting the quad. OK98 getting the uh, the pent. It's always smart to uh, spread out the uh, the power ups if you if you can. Oh poor poor Sep. He got caught out by OK98. So I like this play. Nice team play by Sweden. Just spreading out this. Um, I mean, it's always cool to see the purple glow when someone has quad pent. But if you have, if if you feel safe that you can pull it off, spreading out uh, all the power ups is of course the best way to do it. If you can have one player with the ring, one with the quad, and one with the pent, that's um, yeah, it's pretty much the the best way to do it. And yeah, three minutes remaining. This is looking like Abraxas was right once again. Final score will most likely be 2-1 to one in favor of Sweden. With a very, very nice E1M2 from uh, Team Russia with some insane grenades. Dot with a beautiful, beautiful kill, especially on... Um, over at yellow, a double grenade followed by uh, a boomstick. That's the best way to kill a quad. Yeah, when I upload the VODs, 
definitely definitely check out that E1M2. That was so close. Great, great game. Uh, but don't go anywhere, guys, because right after this, we're gonna have BPS versus Locust, the dual mania winners uh, winners bracket finals, a best of five between BPS and Locust. So we're gonna get to see some duels as well, not only four and four. Of course, the uh, Quake landscape is pretty polarized when it comes to whether they like dual or four and four. But if you're like me and you love both dual and four and four, do stick around because that's gonna be an amazing game between two legends of Quake World. BPS, of course, having been at the top for fi about 15 years now, uh, Locust winning the QuakeCon at home. Uh, this summer getting a pretty nice paycheck from that and um, yeah they ha also have an internal rivalry that has been going on for so many years uh, especially on Arrowwalk both being considered two of the absolute best Arrowwalk players in the world and they played countless of Arrowwalks against one another But there are no map repetitions, so we will only get to see one arrow walk. But I'm pretty sure that one of them is gonna pick it. So that's gonna be an interesting game. I'm probably gonna give the favor to Locust for the sole reason that BPS hasn't been able to be as active as he wants to be because of, uh, you know, taking care of uh, three kids and everything. Uh, doesn't have just as much time for Quake as he used to have, while Locust's shape just never seems to uh, be bad. His shape always looks good. But it's gonna be interesting. So stick around for that. But yeah, the last 40 seconds of this, we still have one last quad and it looks like Shock is gonna pick it up unless he saves it for someone. No. He's gonna pick up the last quad. <laughs> He's gonna get ambushed and killed. So we get to see some uh, trick jumping by BPS for the last 10 seconds of this game. But well played to both teams. Uh, oh, we ended with a nice mid-air rocket. Final score, 235 to 126. Uh, BPS leading the scores just barely. Got that last kill. That was important for him, probably. So that's going to do it. 2 to 1. Let's look at the last scores just to uh, show it to everyone. There you go. 231 to 92 on DM2. That was uh, pretty... Uh, one-sided affair uh, but the E1M2 221 to 230 so nine frag difference with the Russians hiding in the last you know minute or so that was pretty cool to see and then of course we just got to see the DM3 pretty dominated by the Swedes but yeah final score is 2 to 1 now let's see where BPS uh, if he needs like a few minutes to um, to chill out before before we go into his one versus one against Locust. So while we wait for that, we do this. And we swap to this screen. 